If you're still paying full price for Microsoft Windows, Office, or even PC games, then you really need this video. What's more, if you're even thinking about using a bootleg copy, then you really need this video. So stay tuned because in 20 seconds, I'm about to blow your mind. This is Nico Knows Tech. Nico Knows Tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico Knows Tech, number one channel with the news on check. Now I know what you're thinking. Why do you even need a license? Can't I just download these off of ad-friendly content? Well, the problem with that is, is what if there are security risk? How good are your defenses? <laughs> How do you know you're not gonna get hacked? <laughs> with Windows 11 right around the corner, more and more people are needing to get a genuine license key because in order to upgrade to Windows 11 for free, you must have a genuine Windows 10 license key. Now if you head over to cdkdeals.com, link is in the description, you'll find that there's a lot of options. And then if you just search for Windows in the search bar, you're going to see that all these different keys available. We have Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC for 1871. We have the OEM keys of Windows 10 Pro. We have retail keys of Windows 10 Home Edition. If you'll notice, this is more expensive than the OEM key of Pro. The reason being is, is like I said, these are more expensive because this can be migrated over to a new machine. However, you can often find that buying an OEM key of a higher level version of Windows 10 is often cheaper and you can get three of them as opposed to one. For example, here Windows 10 Professional is normally $118.04. It's normally $199 from like Best Buy. Sometimes you can find it $179, but here it's normally $118. Right now it's at $21.36 and if we buy now, and you use my code, which is NK25. This will take 25% off. And now it is 1602 for a Windows 10 Pro genuine OEM key. I'm gonna leave a little message here, and then we can submit the order. Now, there's several options you can pay. You can pay PayPal with a card, pay a faster pay, Mint. However, if you want to avoid any kind of convenience key, just use PayPal. Once your order is complete, you're going to see this, this processing. As soon as your payment is processed, you're going to get sent the key. Once your order is complete, you're going to be able to view the codes here in your purchased orders. It took me about two minutes for me to get mine confirmed and I used PayPal. Depending on your payment method, it may take longer, but it shouldn't take too long. Once it's done, you can click view keys slash codes and then you can get your activation key. Once you click get keys, you'll see here and then you can click get the key. Now keys come in four different types. There's KMS, MAK, OEM and retail. MAK or multiple activation keys are often a problem because these have a set number of licenses that were purchased when the MAK was issued. So if the seller purchased five with the MAK, then they can only sell it five times. And if they've already sold it to five customers, you're gonna get a key that doesn't work. KMS activators are notorious for often being fakes. For every one real KMS activator, there's a hundred fakes, which are actually Bitcoin miners, ransomware Trojans, and worse. In addition, KMS activators, when they are legit, are always time sensitive, which means they can be revoked at any time. Another thing that KMS activators often do, especially when associated with bootleg copies of Windows, is that they cause severe stability issues in Windows 10, obviously causing it to have problems with updating. Retail keys are the most well-known keys. This is what you would find sitting on a shelf at a retail software store. These are often more expensive than other options, and the only benefit of a retail key is that if you are using it on your current machine now and you upgrade your machine later, you can migrate that existing license over to your next machine. OEM keys are the most popular, and these are often sold in large quantities to equipment manufacturers, such as PC builders. And these are single-use licenses, however, they are significantly cheaper than other options, and they are genuine. To activate your key, you'll go to System, then About, and then Change Product Key or Upgrade Your Edition of Windows. I'm going to go ahead and change my product key. I'm going to enter my key. All right, after I enter the key and it activates, I click activate. All right, and now it says Windows is activated. We've activated this copy of Windows. Now it's here it shows this window is activated with a digital license. And that's it, you're done. That's all you have to do to get a genuine copy of Windows 10. And that's how you be ready for Windows 11 for a free upgrade. I wish there was a way to around it, but you have to get a genuine copy of Windows 10. If you get a pre-activated or a KMS activated, these are a huge security risk. 
I, I come in contact with hundreds of thousands of people infected and the worst cases are from bootleg copies of Windows because they got backdoored or they got exploited because they can't get the security updates because they don't work with their modified version of Windows. Get a genuine key. I hope you found this helpful and if you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter. You can also support me on Patreon. It makes a lot of things possible for the channel and I'll see you next time.